It was a day of carnage. On June 19, 1971, combined forces of the Philippine military, along with a local armed group called Ilaga, launched an attack in the village of Manili in North Cotabato Province. Kadil Nagle was 10 years old. They rounded us and forced inside the mosque. They surrounded us. They were laughing at us. They told us, pray to your gods, we will finish you. Survivors say a group of armed men threw a grenade inside the mosque full of civilians. Those who showed signs of life were either shot or stabbed. At least 69 of those who died are buried here now, and this has become a memorial. People here say they'd like to keep it that way, a reminder of the brutality of the Marcos's regime towards Muslims. During the 22-year rule of President Ferdinand Marcos, there were a number of killings and displacements across the country, particularly in largely Muslim communities in Mindanao. The uh, proclamation of martial law... Marcus's declaration of martial law in 1972 paved the way for a rebellion in the southern province of Mindanao that continues to this day. This is why the candidacy of his son, presidential frontrunner Bongbong Marcus Jr., is upsetting many here. He needs to pay. For all the pain they've cost us, our lives were destroyed, our parents were killed, and we were not able to finish our education. The Moro Islamic Liberation Front is the biggest armed group in Southeast Asia. It has been fighting for the region's independence for decades, and over the last few years has run parts of Mindanao under a peace agreement with the government. At Iboto, si Lenny Robredo, sa now for the first time, it is endorsing a presidential candidate, Marcus Jr.'s main rival. As we aspire for genuine reconciliation and national healing, having Lenny Robredo as the next president of the country brings hope to the realization of the elusive unity through inclusivity, good governance, and real democracy. Marcus Jr.'s campaign theme is unity, which the survivors of the Manila killings here say is an insult. There won't be peace, they say, without an acknowledgement and most of all, reparations for the injustices committed against their families. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, North Cotabato, Southern Philippines.